Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. It's been a little while since the last video, but we're going to get right into it here. Tonight we're going to be creating a beep test calculator spreadsheet that's going to allow you to track the scores of your beep tests and make sure that you can graph these scores um, for better um, reporting. The first thing you're going to need here is this beep test chart along the right side. Now I know it's going to be hard for you guys to copy down this chart, so if you want, just like and subscribe to this uh, channel and send me a message and I will send you this chart. Number two, we're going to create a chart along the left hand corner here. And what that's going to have is the athlete's name, the date of the test, the date of birth, the athlete's age, which we're going to calculate, um, whether they're male or female, the resulting level that they reach, the resulting shuttle that they reach, um, a score which we're going to calculate, the total distance covered, and then the total time that the athlete was doing the test. So let's get into it. So we're going to start this by adding another record. So let's put Steve in. And Steve just completed his beep test. Um, and let's say that he did it on March 14th, 2017. And we'll give him the birth date of February 6th, 1990. And then in order to calculate his age, what we need to do is take the date of the test. So we go equals date of the test and then minus his birthday. We're going to put that in brackets. And then to get the number in days, we're going to divide the whole thing by 365 days because there's 365 days in a year. And that should give us his age. And according to this, he's 27.12 years old, which is going to make it easier when we graph this. Um, we're going to make him male, and then let's say he got a resulting level of 4, 7. So he's got some work to do. Now, in order to calculate the score of the beep test, one of the things that people usually do is if they were going to put a 4, 7, they would put 4.07 as that, um, and if they were going to do a 6, 10, they might type it like that, 6.1. But if you see, these numbers are not... Um, proportional to each other. So we have to convert this score to a decimal in order to make sure that they're proportional to each other. And the way we do this is we go um, level plus shuttle divided by total shuttles. And what this is going to look like in our formula here, if we go equals and then G7 for our level and then plus and we want Shuttle divided by total shuttle, shuttles in the series. So we go here, and to get our shuttle, we go 7, so H5. Um, and then we need to look up the other value. So we go divided by V lookup, and we need this value here, which is the level. And we're going to search that value in this table, which is named table 2. And we want the total amount of shuttles, so when it finds that, we need the second column. You should be able to close that off. And you can see here we go. And just to make sure that that's working, we'll type in the 3 and the 8, and it should give us our value. So, 4, 7. So that gives us our decimal value for our beep test. Now, in order to get total distance, what we need is... The total distance covered in the level plus the amount of shuttles times 20 meters because it's the 20 meter shuttle test. So we're going to do a formula for that. So we go equals V lookup and we need the total amount of shuttles or sorry, the total distance covered in the level before that. So we'll look up this one minus one in the table, which is table two. And in order to get distance covered, we want column three. And then we're going to add the shuttle achieved times 20 for 20 meters. And that should give us our total distance. And we'll check that out. So three, eight, and it's good. It equals out to 460, four, seven, put that back. And now we need the total time. And in order to get total time, what we need is the total time covered in the shuttle up to that point plus 
the time of the shuttle for the stage times the amount of shuttles that the athlete completed. So to do this, this, this formula is a little longer. We go equals, um, we're gonna put all in a bracket. We look up, and the lookup value, we're gonna go four minus one, and the table array, table two. And the total time is the fifth column. I'm gonna close that off, and we'll, we'll add bracket this number times VLOOKUP shuttle in table two and the column index for shuttle time is four close that off close the whole thing off and then what we have to do is divide this by 86400 zero, zero, because that's the amount of seconds there are in a day and this will give us a day um, value unless we're careful here so we equals that and it's going to give us this wonky um, value down here and if we convert that to a time by going up to number formats and you go more number formats um, and we go to time and we can pick one here that gives us a bunch of values here now we have our total time we'll check that three, eight, and you should see it gives us the same time there, so we'll put it back to four, seven. So now you can see um, how you can convert this beep test into scores, total distance, and total time. And we can use these values to make a graph here to track change. And the easy way to make a graph is just to merge a bunch of cells. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you just take all these cells and click merge, and then we can insert what's called a spark line or a column graph here. So we go to insert, and then column, and it's gonna ask us where our data is. And let's say we wanna graph the scores. We can click here and select all of our score values. Okay. And then our location range, it's gonna ask us where we wanna put this graph. So location, and let's put it in this big box that we just made, okay. And then if we type that in there, it's gonna give us our graph. So then you can see if we were to add more values, six, five, six, seven, eight, four. It's gonna graph these values and gonna allow us to show change over time. So give that a try. Remember, like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment and I can send you um, a copy of this spreadsheet and that way you can start to track beep tests for your own athletes. Thank you and let me know what you'd like to see in the future.